it's Vicki with Breadcrumb Cooking. We're gonna do some uh, baked oatmeal today. It's kind of an Amish sort of dish. Um, it's an old fashioned recipe and it's a, um, we're gonna put a spin on it today. We're gonna make it into little muffin tins and freeze it. But you can take this recipe and just put it in a nine by 13 casserole dish, bake it and slice it up. And the other thing you can do with this is put it in the refrigerator overnight that morning when you get up, you can just pop it in the oven and serve it with syrup and fresh fruit. So let's get this going down here on our countertop. We've got three cups of old fashioned oats, oatmeal, just like you buy in the canister. Let me show it to you. It's not the instant packs guys, it's oatmeal. And you can get the old fashioned or the quick cooking and I've got the quick oats today. So I've got three cups of oats. I've got a half a tablespoon of baking powder, a tablespoon of cinnamon and a pinch of salt. All right, we're gonna add to that a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of sour cream and I'm gonna add a cup of milk I'm gonna go ahead and blend that so far. I've got that baking powder there in the center and I wanna get that well incorporated throughout this mixture. So the baking powder and the three eggs give this some lift. There's no flour in it. We are literally baking oats. But they're gonna make up kind of like a little muffin, almost it looks like a cookie flavor really good okay we blended that really well to make sure that our baking powder got really well incorporated with all of that and i'm going to beat up my eggs here i've got three eggs if you only have two eggs that's fine you can use two eggs for this recipe but i'm adding a lot of additives today so i'm going to need that extra egg there we go. I'll have this recipe um, in the description. All right, we're going to put a teaspoon of vanilla and about a fourth a teaspoon of almond extract. Almond extract is one of those little flavors it's really good as long as you don't overdo it. If you put too much almond extract in, it'll give your dish a real whang that you're not gonna enjoy. All right, we're gonna put our cup of butter in. And I have softened it. I don't know if I mentioned it. Yeah, I did. I had a pinch of salt in there. Okay. At this point, this is the basic recipe and it's basically done. We're going to put in some optional items. You can put in mashed banana, which would be really good. I've got about a half a cup of diced cooked apples. So they are cooked and tender. I've got about two tablespoons of dried cranberries, about a half a cup of diced nuts, and mine are pecans and almonds, and a half a cup of chocolate chips. That's all going in, and that's all optional. So anything that you think that you would want to taste in your oatmeal, you think of it like a bowl of oatmeal or an oatmeal cookie, what else do you want in it? Go ahead and put that in. Serve these hot. They're good to put a little butter, a little syrup, and even some fresh fruit on top of them. Now I'm gonna take a one third of a cup here and I'm gonna put these off into a muffin pan. Now you can put this in a nine by 13 now. And if you do it in the nine by 13, it goes 350 degrees 
for 45 minutes, about 45 till it's kind of set in the center. These will go about 30 minutes at 350 degrees. And the, the reason I'm doing this, there's only the two of us. And we can freeze these and take and wrap them up individually and put them in a big Ziploc, freeze them. We could take them out and put them into the microwave for 30 seconds to a minute and eat it any day of the week we want. Which is really good when garden season comes on and we're out in the garden. These are gonna be great to have. So I'll finish filling these up and I'll show them to you when they come out of the oven. All right, those came out of the oven at about 32 minutes. It made 20 muffins. And we're gonna try one on a plate here, see how it looks when we plate it up. So let's come down here to the counter and watch this. Here we go. I've got one, I kinda cut into the center of it to check for doneness, so we'll just go ahead and use that one. I'm just gonna cut down in the middle. Can you see the consistency of this? I really wanna show that to you. It is pretty much like a muffin. Okay, and we're gonna put some butter, uh, just a pat of butter in the center of that. You know, something else would be good on this probably is some cream cheese would be good on this. And as sweet as it already is, we're still gonna put a little syrup on there. And that's it. Those will heat up from the freezer in the microwave in about 30 seconds. And that will be a quick, quick uh, meal in the morning when you're in a rush. And it's good to go too. This is Joe's going down the road, driving to work. He could take a couple of those with him. I hope you enjoyed this video today. And I look forward to doing more videos with you. I'm enjoying your comments and enjoying seeing where all of you all are from. I look forward to more videos and I hope y'all have a great week. Thank you.